So I promised that I would never film at night again. But here I am filming. Well, it's not quite night time out, but it's getting close. So um, today I did, well, on well, my other channel, I did a tutorial on how to do a, um, a bay custom on that weather girl that I did that was a commission. I used her as an example. But, um, so today I'm going to show you how to do a chestnut. And I have this body here, and I have his, some of his base coat on. He's not completely done yet. Let's see. And this, this is just his base coat. I haven't put any pastels on him yet. So, and I, I used to have a smaller pastel brush, but I only have this big one now. Oh, wait, here's my smaller one. Okay, never mind, guys. So I have a bigger one here that I use for traditional, so I'm going to put that away. I have this little one here that I use for stalemates. And it's probably not focusing. The other one I did outside, and I think that might have been... Oh, there we go. Focused, yeah. And this is... I don't know what kind of brand this brush is. It's one I got at Briarfest at a customizing tutorial thing. But it's just a flat brush. So like a filbert brush or something. Something like this. This is a really good brush that I use to paint the bodies of most traditionals for my acrylics. This is a filbert and it is a Princeton Select. Now this is a size 8. So you're probably going to want to get like, let me see. I'm going to get like a size 5 or 4 for stable mates. So um, basically what colors I used for the base coat was, and I used the Liquitex Basics acrylics, and I used Mars Black, Raw Sienna, and Burnt Sienna. And um, this, I think this guy is not fully done yet, but I think he has about three or four layers, and as you can see, he's mostly covered, except for a few streaky places there where his undercoat is showing. So, that needs to be covered. And, let me see, um, so the base coat, you put that on and you let that dry and make sure that they're mostly completely covered. And um, you can do this if you don't have acrylics or you just have pastels, you can do this with on top of just primer, but I always like to put an acrylic base coat because I just think it adds more body to the horse. It's a lot easier and quicker to cover them um, once they have a base coat. Uh, it's a bit, I, I then put a layer of just pastels over and then I start doing the shading. So it's a lot easier to quickly cover them with um, pastels when they already have an acrylic base coat because you don't have to layer so much of it on. And uh, you're also going to have less likely, like, likely chance of it getting grainy looking. Um, and I'm going to do another video on like what primers and sealers I use. So um, I'm not going to talk about that in this one. And like what I use to, like, to finish up the horses. Okay, so once you do all your acrylics, you're going to do the base coat, and for the base coat, I mix up these colors, and this is for the, the full body coat of the horse. I use a deep yellow, I use the, just the orange, and these could be called something else in another brand, but I do highly suggest this brand. And uh, this is permanent red light, and I believe that this is a, just the darker shade of that. And then just black, and like a like a burnt sienna color, white, and um, this is like as you can see, it's darker than the burnt sienna. So this is just like a regular like classic bay color. So I use those, and I would just shave them in here, um, and just a little bit of each. So, hold on guys, I'm going to shave some off quick just to show you. And that got a little, ch that got a little chunky looking, but you just shave off um, a little tiny bit of each with the X-Acto knife, which looks like that. So just shave off a little bit of each with that. And um, I, would, I definitely would use more of the two browns than any of the other colors, except for maybe the black. And um, this, this guy's going to be like a liver chestnut. So I'm going to do him a darker chestnut. If you were going to do a lighter chestnut, you would want to use like more of the burnt sienna and the white, and less of this brown and the black. So um, 
just like you would just put that all over here like all over and um, seal that with a sealer and go check out my other video to see what sealer I use um, to just seal that and uh, I usually let it dry for it depends on how motivated I'm feeling that day sometimes I will put another pastel layer on like an hour or two after I'm done spraying but um, really depends on like what you're spraying in like the temperature humidity and all that stuff sometimes it takes longer to dry and you're going to want to wait longer in between layers, but usually you can do it an hour or two afterwards. But just make, don't do it when it's wet, the sealer, because then that won't work. Um, okay, so then I'm going to do another base coat, and I'm going to use these browns. But, so I'm going to use the dark, oh, I'm going to use the black too. I'm going to use the darkest brown, the burnt sienna, the black, this, like... It's like an army green kind of color, like the kind of color they have in their uniforms. This is like a, a darker black, than, or I mean a darker brown than this one, as you can see. So that's like a dark brown. Then I have this dove gray color that I put in. And then just a tiny amount of this light blue, which is, um, I don't know, it doesn't say. So um, then I'm going to put that all over again. And um, I'm going to seal that. And uh, you might need, depending on what color your base coat is, and how, how you know, you might need a couple of layers of each of these um, base coat layers it, before you put the shading on. I don't really know, you know, because it kind of depends on the horse, but you know, you'll be able to tell once you start working on it. So, then for the shading, what I want to do. It depends on how dark you want your shading. For a liver chestnut, it's not going to be, it's going to have, like, not real dark shading, but it's not going to be super light, like, if you're doing a regular, you know, bag. So, I'm going to use my burnt sienna. This, and it looks really yellow here. It's not actually, it's like a real dark yellow, like a buckskin, done yellow color. Um, I'm going to use a dark gray. I'm going to use this forest green color, olive color, and I'm going to use the black, and I'm just going to, I usually just, I shade in here, all in the belly area, some up here on the back, so, and then, like here in the neck, here in the chest, and some like in the face area. And uh, down here in the leg area, and a little back here. So you want to you want to have a lot of shading. Um, so you, I'll do that for the shading. So that'll be the first layer of the shading. And then I add. Then I would just go back and more shading. I would do for another layer of shading. I would do the burnt sienna, the white. What? You have to come up with some dates for that in September, so Paul can look up to see what they have. Okay. Look in your schedule or whatever. I thought of Friday to Monday off. See if you can do something like that. Okay. Maybe you can say you have to do something with your medical. I don't know. Just come up with some dates so he can look it up. Okay. I can do that. If we don't see the plane, you're not going to get on. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, I would refilm this, but I really don't want to. So, um, yeah, that was a little interruption, but just like turn your headphones off or whatever. Um, all right. So I would for the second layer of shading. So you have that first layer of shading on for the second layer: the burnt sienna, the white, the darker brown, the second to the lighter dark brown, and the light blue. And I put that on the same areas. And uh, you can always add more shading if you want to. Um, experiment with your own colors if you want. And, um, yeah. So, I will post a completed picture of him when I'm done with him to show you what it actually looks like completed. And, uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. And thank you for watching. And check out my other video for primer, 
tips, um, sealer tips, and what I use to gloss and finish the horses, and what I use to sign them, and all that good stuff. Bye, guys!